but we, we spend all of our time looking for positive practice. I'm a, I'm a passionately believe there is a perfect mental health service out there. It's just not all in one place. And one of the objectives of the collaborative um, is to start identifying aspects of service delivery from the moment of engagement to the moment of discharge and all specialist services in between. One of the practical reasons for doing this is again, I'm a great believer if we have people commissioning mental health services that know nothing about mental health and personally I find that quite worrying. So if we have some kind of a guide that they can refer to that might help them know what good looks like, that has to be uh, a positive step forward. So in, in context, we set up the positive practice collaborative at the beginning of the year and we made a decision straight away that we would limit the membership to the collaborative in the first year because after all it is a collaborative it's not a network um, but we are and we said so what we got 32 organizations about 20 NHS trusts some CCGs CSU uh, the Center for Mental Health the Picker Institute organizations like that are involved now one of the things you'll notice is we we film every event the downside of that is is some people think Oh, well, we don't need to go because we can watch it on the internet. The, the sad thing about that, and it gets back to this bit about two-way communication, is the, you know there is no substitute for two-way communication. And it's one thing to be able to look on the internet and see something. But personally, I'm a great believer in brains in a room for, for taking things forward and inspiring people and, and making things better. Um, but it is film, so all of, all, all of the people in the collaborative network we'll see today. And like I said before, and I make no apologies for repeating myself, some of the, the, the work that we've seen here and in Sussex has really inspired me. I, I, I'm a depressive and when I was first admitted to a psychiatric unit, I thought <laughs> they'd give me some tablets, make me better, jobs are good. Em. And it came as a nasty shock to me to find uh, actually it's not that straightforward. <laughs> And the trick is you have to find ways of helping you cope. And you know what, it's interesting, and, and you're all mentally ill people, so you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying here. We work from, from out of this country for a couple of months in the summer. And one thing that's really struck me this year is the longer I've been out, the less mentally stable I've become. And it, and it, it, and it reinforced me again in knowing that the thing that lifts me more than anything is to be amongst inspirational people and seeing good services. So I'm like really glad that we're, we're back now. I should stress that when we're out, we're not, we're not sunning ourselves on holiday. We, we are working and we, we've, had the, we've had to coordinate 105 judges, 15 categories to get the Mental Health Awards ready for October. And we also run, I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but we have the Reflections Art in Health magazine which showcases the creative talents of people with mental health problems. So we have been really busy. Um, and I think the, the other news I'm excited about is we're, we've just started the, the second tranche of people to join the collaborative. And we've got our first new trust in the second tranche join us today. Humber, Humber Mental Health Trust in Hull. Right, so that, that's good. So we, we are gonna increase it now. Um, and this is the third uh, learning set we've done. We started back in what seems like yonks ago in, in Newcastle on a snowy, rainy day where we did our first learning collaborative. We then moved to Liverpool and did something in, in, in conjunction with Liverpool and Pennine Care and Everton Football Club. So um, you'll tell by my accent, you know, I, I am from the north. Um, <laughs> I live just outside Sheffield. Uh, now I'm a Londoner, obviously, but but we do we are kind of adopted Northerners. So this is the first time we've come south for a collaborative event, and like I said, I am really excited because I'm inspired by the people that are in this room today. And like I said, it will be. I need to plug our website. You all need to see our website because it gets back to this communication thing. I think the other thing that concerns me a great deal is sometimes I don't think people within the NHS or within individual organisations are very good at communicating with their own people. So it's like really important 
that we, we use the, the means of the collaborative to network with others. And now if I forgot, I'm looking at the boss here, because I'm just a hired hand, just to check that I haven't forgotten anything this time, have I? feels appreciated and, and recognised and motivated for the work that they do. So I, I really believe that we really do need to acknowledge the good work that goes on out there. But the, the awards are not the end of the process, they're the start of the process, because like I mentioned earlier, the most important thing for us is to put this guide together from start to finish. Um, and and the, the projects that are, we're going to hear about today will, will be in that guide. Personally, I, I think that's, I'd be really proud, you know, to be in a guide that's been developed essentially by a service user organisation. And, and we're not, you know, we're not saying it's the best. You know, I don't go down that, mine, that minefield. What we're just saying is the services we see are really positive. And, and in this day and age with, with uh, the pressures on the services and the constraints on budgets, I think it's really important that we share we share positive practice with each other. I've been pleasantly surprised when we, when we started talking about the concept of a collaborative. I initially thought, oh no, we're going to have to have one trust from the northwest, one from the northeast, one from the Midlands, because they, they won't want to work with each other. And I've been really pleasantly surprised by the willingness of organisations to, to actively want to work with each other. That's really good, and I think it's the way forward.